So this morning, I guess what I would like to challenge you with um, is, um, are you a passerby in God's big picture? Is God at work and you're just passing by? Or are you one of those who has come very close to what the Lord is doing out of curiosity and seeking the Lord for where your place is in his grand scheme through the pages of history? There's a beautiful narrative that's being presented for each of us, and there's a welcome for each of us to take part in that beautiful narrative. And uh, this morning, as much as passionate as I am about Greece and what the Lord has given us to do, and we'll share a little bit about that, um, my prayer this morning has been, what's God's narrative for you? What's God's purpose for you? What's God's call for you? Um, where does God, what, is, what are the good works that God has prepared for you to do that were prepared and planned before the creation of the world where Jesus himself had your name and your person in mind as, as he was planning all of this beautiful scenario, this reality that we're living day to day. Um, so uh, with that, um, I, I thought uh, Pastor Bill asked if we would just start with a little video to give you a little background. Um, it's just a few minutes long, but it describes the narrative uh, in, in a brief uh, caption of uh, our lives as the McCreese family. Um, while I said Pastor Bill is very personable, I thought I would uh, maybe just correct the pronunciation of my last name because he's got me pegged as an Irishman when in reality I'm Greek. Um, his, the emphasis is on the Mac when he presents my last name. Uh, it's not Macris, it's McCreese. And that's really important because it rhymes with Greece. See how it goes together? Jonathan McCreese from Greece. <laughs> so anyway, but my um, dad was um, born a Greek um, and uh, born into an aristocratic family. Um, if you come to Athens and uh, you see the um, uh, American embassy, uh, dad grew up right across from that. Um, dad grew up during the war years, uh, during World War II. There was starvation in the streets. Dad suffered with tuberculosis. There wasn't good nutrition. Uh, it was a wonder that um, he and his family survived. Um, not the effects of the war as much as the effects after the war. There was a mass exodus. Everyone that could get on a ship and leave the country of Greece did so. And uh, consequently, Melbourne is the second largest city Greek of Greek population in the world um, after Athens uh, with over five million people. I think uh, Melbourne is the next and then Thessalonica, the third city. But anyway, um, during those early years of dad's childhood, he experienced a call on his life, which was his personal invitation to be part of the narrative of what God was doing in the world. And that call took him to Irian Jaya, um, Indonesia, uh, um, occupied uh, as a protectorate of the Dutch, uh, received the last visa uh, to go in um, before it was handed over to Indonesia. And Dad's call as a Greek uh, was in the primitive, most remote part of the jungle of that island with a call to take the gospel to people who had never heard. After 40 years um, since we left the island and uh, went to Greece in 1979 to begin a ministry there, uh, we, were, we had the privilege of going back as a family at the invitation of the governor uh, who paid all of our tickets and flew 38 of us McCreases, four generations from four continents to celebrate Christmas with him. So this little video has got a couple um, as segments of a flight that we took into the interior to revisit our brothers and sisters who are part of the kingdom in God's beautiful story, uh, who once knew nothing of the gospel. And so you'll see some emotional moments there. And then there's a, quickly, uh, there's a quick kind of advance through a few pictures that reflect the story and describe a little bit of what we're doing in Greece. Um, so not to confuse you, although we're ministering in Greece, 
Um, my childhood was in Papua, not far from you. Um, and uh, maybe we can just roll with that video clip. <clears throat> okay, this is the mission station Taivei, and on that riverbank, up on the left there is where Dad, after 10 days of travel, uh, sensed the Lord saying to him, throw your anchor in, in this vast um, um, uh, landscape of jungle, it was the only spot within miles around that didn't flood in the, in the rainy season. Um, this airplane um, that took, uh, took us is being flown by um, a former, uh, well, a Donnie uh, from the Eastern Highlands who was born in a hut. Um, the gospel is transforming this island. Um, and I know you've had a lot of uh, ministry in the, um, in the PNG side. Uh, but this was a very emotional time for me after 40 years coming back. Uh, their strip seemed shorter than I remembered. Um, and I wasn't sure if we were just buzzing the strip or we're actually going to land. Um, but this was all carved out with my, by my dad and 21 other outposts like this throughout the jungle. There hadn't been a flight in for six months, and this man that I'm hugging here said that he's been praying every day for 40 years for my return. Uh, he was a, one of our most trusted nationals, um, a very sharp young man, and he introduced himself as Kai, and do you remember me? And of course, it, there were moments I thought were reserved only for heaven as we embraced. He's explaining there how he took care of us as kids growing up. My brother, Neil, there's six of us siblings. Um, my dad on the left there. Um, as we flew over the jungles and I looked down from the plane at the river and saw where dad had reached, I just choked up and began just weeping in the plane as I reflected on the nature of God's love. What, what kind of love is this that would take someone from the other side of the world and bring him into the heart of the jungle to embrace the suffering, the poor, the disenfranchised um, uh, with the love of the gospel. Here's my mom, um, myself there in the picture at one of an early baptism. Boho is in the water, a former uh, cannibal and headhunter, elder of the church, helping dad with the first baptism in this area. Our family, 1978, and our transition to Athens evangelistic programs throughout Greece. In the courtroom uh, on Mars Hill. can order the book, If I Had Two Lives, from Amazon.com. Then, and at, uh, and at, at Christmas time, my mom with primitive people in the tribal highlands. I'm going to put a little advertising piece here. If any of you are free, uh, the, early, uh, the beginning of July, come join us at Operation Joshua our project to distribute um, Bibles throughout Greece. Uh, the evenings are uh, events like this where we worship together and uh, give you a taste of Greece. And during the day, uh, July 3 to 11 this year, there'll be anywhere upwards between 250 and 450 people from all over the world that will come together to distribute 100,000 Bibles uh, in um, the northeastern part of Greece.
maybe we can have a little more sound.